Okay, I'm gonna try and get through this without crying. I've had this lump in my throat for the past five days, and um, I have a really hard time accepting that this is where I was meant to be. I have a really hard time believing people when they say that they had absolutely nothing. They couldn't rub two pennies together in order to make a dollar. <sighs> that they had no support at all. I have a hard time believing them. I, I really feel like they're full of shit because how did they do it? How did they do it alone? How did they believe in something that, they, that wasn't their reality right now? You know? And I know that I know that the answer is is hope and trust. But not not trust in not trust in the process, but more trust in yourself. Trusting that every move that I make, no matter how silly, no matter how small, no matter how much I think this doesn't impact my future, every choice matters. It's going to matter in the future. Or it's going to matter tomorrow. <sighs> Damn it, I cried. Fuck. <laughs> but I needed to. You know what's funny about right now? Um, I'm not having an anxiety attack. And I'm not having a panic attack. And I'm not depressed. I'm just sad. Which is weird because I haven't really felt sad in years. Everything has been just been so over dramatic. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you see from my content, like I'm like always at the edge of jumping off a fucking bridge. But now I'm just not that I'm losing. Not it's not. I'm definitely not losing faith. It was that loud? Sorry. I'm not losing faith. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just calling people out on their bullshit because I, I I see all these other people. And I know, I know I shouldn't compare because I don't know what they're going through mentally. I don't know what they're going through in their lives. But why should we fake it? Why do we feel a need to fake it for other people? Do you think that we're, that we're helping them? No. Oh, my God. Like, my eyeliner. Oh, that's gross. Stop being vain, Ashley. Um, I think we're hurting each other more than helping one another by posing. Why can't we just say out loud, hey, I'm really, really sad. I'm really disappointed with the way things are right now, but look at this really cool food that I ate, that I'm eating. Or look at my beautiful dog. I'm not okay, but I am okay. Why can't we just say that? Something that I like to do, um, I, I, <laughs> I, I get like these weird, like random obsessions with things and I'm, I'm fascinated by tall people. I think tall people are really interesting. Their physicality, they, um, just making sure no one creeps up on me. It's a dangerous city. Um, tall people, sometimes, some of them, some of them, the insecure ones, um, they sometimes um, have their shoulders hunched and they're, um, they have their head down. Not, it's not, I don't think it's really an insecurity thing. It's more everyone else is shorter than them. So they're just used to looking down so their head off starts to sag. So what, I, <laughs> what I've been doing for like years is um, trying to keep my head up. So I, so I look and appear taller and so I can try to ooze some kind of confidence that tall people naturally have. And something that I like to do when I'm really sad, particularly at work, is I like to just look up. We don't really appreciate architecture. Like this light right here, this soft bluish purple light. We don't look up. We don't notice the trees. We don't notice the sky. We don't notice the ceilings. Fun fact, a lot of, um, a lot of supermarkets, ceilings are like half done. 
and like we don't even notice it but it's like they do it on purpose because they're like oh they're not gonna look up anyway which is so funny we're always looking down we're looking down because we're sad we're looking down on our phones i mean phones were created to be addictive and they are my, my phone got wet today and oh my god i had a massive burst of my phone cannot break i cannot afford a new phone like I, I just kept checking my phone checking my phone like please don't break please don't break please, please don't break and i'm like this is a stupid stupid obsession ashley if your phone breaks you're it's okay it's not the end of the world you're not gonna fucking die that was a that was a rant sorry trusting in the unseen and just smiling now but I can't imagine someone like like Oprah having three dollars left in her bank account eating three day old leftover food and spending Thanksgiving alone I find that very hard to believe But what I do believe is, I do believe in my story. I believe in my documenting. I believe in my optimism. I believe in my faith in humanity. I believe in that we can use technology. I don't know, I mean, I know why people are scared of technology. Like, I get it, like, I'm scared of technology. I don't want the fucking government tracking my every move, just like everyone else, but they're using it to their benefit, so why can't we? I was watching, a po- listening to a podcast, and they were saying that they, they, people have these internet friends, but they're not their real friends. Go outside and make friends, and I'm like, why can't we have both? I mean, we should have both. We have this opportunity to reach out to people in other countries, and we're using it to attack one another. We're using it to spew hate. To other people my big I, my, a huge thing that I'm all about is you let's say that let's say that let's say that I don't know if this is a movie or not for, so forgive me if I'm quoting a movie but let us say that you were only allowed a hundred words a day how would you spend them how would you spend your words you can you can't buy new words You can't reuse words. How would you use them? Would you use them saying, go kill yourself? You suck. You're not funny. You're not talented. And then these these are just comments that I've seen. Like, I don't think, I hope no one said that about me. That's not very nice. I'm starting to calm down a bit more now. So this is... This is good. I, I know what you're thinking. Why do you, why do you do this on the on your on your vlog? Um, I really don't. I really don't have anyone to talk to. I tried talking to a friend last night, and um, she just made me feel guilty, made me feel bad about myself. So I was like, I'm just not gonna do this again. I don't wanna. I don't need to hear that. I already think that. Or I'm I'm, I'm getting the habit. I'm getting out of the habit of thinking bad thoughts to myself, so I don't need you to vocalize it. So um, I just needed to get this off my chest. Um, I hope I didn't miss the bus, but um, there's plenty of time. There's plenty of time to get done what I need to, what I need to get done tonight. Um, I'm really happy with my schedule, but I just wish that my bank account reflected my work ethic and how much effort I'm putting into this. But I don't think that you can put a dollar amount into how passionate and how much I throw my heart into everything that I do, into into every interaction I have with other people. I just really want to let people know that everyone gets sad, everyone feels alone, and everyone has moments where they just want to give up. But I just want to encourage them that they shouldn't. 
one less lonely person every day. Okay, enough with the crying. Um, completely ruined my makeup, but <laughs> what do I have to impress, right? <laughs> <laughs> it feels good to laugh. Alright. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>